Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is going to be your six months from now. Do apologize for the delay. I am way behind. I'm trying to catch up. It's just, I've never been so busy in my life. So, we're going to read you guys. I was actually supposed to do Leo's next, but uh, I'm being I'm being uh, told that I have to do Aquarius. So, that's the way it goes. So, we're going to do Aquarius six months from now. Uh, we're just going to see what we can. Don't worry about my little bruise. I don't know if you see it. You pro obviously, you do. Try, they uh, tried to put an IV in there, and it didn't work. But I got a bruise. They, I got an IV here. You can almost see it through my shirt. You can see it through my shirt. You see it? You see the black mark? That big one. And it's not, I'm not sick or anything. I'm going to have a surgery, an elective surgery that I uh, wanted to have. And I have to be tested first to make sure I, I, you know, I had to have an endoscopy. So I'm not sick. So anyway, so what do we got? And I'm great. I'm good. So anyhow, let's get back to Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius for six months from now? We're going to get a couple of these. What do we have for Aquarius? Let's get at least one more, at least. Aquarius, six months from now. Oh, there we go. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Six months from now. Keep in mind that the timing, you know, this could happen anywhere from now up until those six months. And you, you know, your free will plays a part. So this is just uh, for fun, really. This may or may not be for you this six months from now because so much changes in six months. I know, get on with it, right? Let's get on with it, Jennifer. I know, I know, I know. Claw, be careful. Do not take risks. Now, be careful. Be ca <laughs> I am repeating myself, aren't I? That's funny. Don't repeat the same mistakes. Do not. Misunderstanding. A misunderstanding of some sort. Definitely be careful because if you you know something could happen. Pay attention to your finances. <sighs> Aquarius, I don't even know what to say. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Now, a lot of you are saying goodbye at this point. <laughs> I mean, that does. these are just, you know, what? like I said, your free will plays a part in your future. It does. The, the, the decisions that you make. So right now, you really need to pay attention to the decisions that you are making. You know, it says, be careful. Do not take risks if you guys, and, and, and I hate to tell people that. I hate to tell people that, but, you know, something could happen if you ask risky. It could affect your wallet. It could affect your bank account, okay? And something, you know, uh, falls apart, okay? I mean, this is a broken bridge. And maybe you're burning a bridge with somebody or somebody is burning a bridge with you. I feel, I mean, this is supposed to be six months from now. There's going to be a misunderstanding, and I think this misunderstanding... Um, has to do with a risk that you probably should not have taken. So it's great that you're getting this reading now because you're going to obviously be presented with something that is risky. And perhaps you will remember this reading when it happens. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not going to be successful and it may, you may end up costing you money. So, you know, you, you think it's a way to make money. This is what this is. It's like, oh, this is a way to make money. It's not. It's not. This person who, or whatever this um, enterprise is, is probably going to end up costing you money and you may not want to, you know, you think about the claw when you're at the machines, you know, the claw machines, what does it do? It takes your freaking money. So, I mean, you got to be careful. You could come across something that looks really good. It looks fun, right? It's, it, but it ends up costing you money. So, this is a great message. And so, you, you guys may, you, know, you may not see it. You may not see it. The view looks good, right? It looks good. No, it's not good. So, this is great. This is, a, this is saying, hey, 
you're going to be presented with something that looks really good. It's not going to work out. I'm sorry, but this is fantastic that you're getting this message now. So let's see, what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Justice. Justice. Now, this is the laws of karma, but um, this is consequences. There's two sides to everything. This is about a contract. Now, you have, you're going to have to make some sort of decision, but this is in the past because we're going we're gonna to do my old layout here. Yeah, it's going to be a loss of some sort. Ooh. Uh, so, let's see. Yeah, juggling. This is uh, your. This is a choice. You're definitely gonna have, right around the corner, probably in the next two months. You're gonna get this opportunity probably in the next two months. Somebody may want you to sign a contract. Maybe you've worked with this person before. Mm -hmm. Let's just get the. Yeah, you have worked with this person before. You know who this person is or this, this person's going to want. They're going to offer you something. And if you don't know this person, I think that you probably do. Somebody's going to make an offer to you. It's not stable. It looks good, but it's not stable. They need you. They need you for something. Mm. Six months from now, yeah, you're going to have to use your intuition and probably cut this person right out. Okay, this is think fast. Think on your feet. Be open to looking at things from a new perspective. You're going to have to really investigate and uh, speak up for yourself. Protect yourself. It feels like you got to protect yourself here. This is f pretend. The Eight of Cups reverse is pretend. Somebody that is superficial. Mm. Yeah, it ends in sadness, okay? This is ends in sadness, uh, regret. So uh, you guys are definitely going to be presented with a new contract or a new offer or something that looks really good. Um... Somebody is going to want to work with you. They're going to need your skills. They need you for some reason. And they only need you be, because you have something that they can't do. There's something that, you, that they need from you. I feel like they're going to offer you big money. They're going to offer you big money. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this is. But they are going to. And it's fake. It's false. They don't have the money to give you. Or they're just. They have no desire. They're not going to give it to you. They're not going to give you what you thought. And it's going to piss you off. It is definitely going to piss you off. There's going to be a conflict. It could, you know, whoever you're dealing with um, is under a lot of social pressure. And they're having, they can't do the right thing. They're not spiritual. They're, they are driven by society. You're dealing with somebody that is only out for their own good. Okay, they don't, they're not going to help you in any way. Um, now, this is lack of spirituality, and I think that you'll know it. I think that your intuition will tell you that you're dealing with somebody that isn't just. Okay, this person isn't just. Um, they're not. They're really, really not. Um, I do believe that you have had some sort of contract. Maybe it's a karmic contract with this person in the past. Maybe in a past life. Okay? There's been some sort of contract with this person before. But it didn't work out. And it's like now this person is coming back around to complete something. Because this is the world card, which is a completion. And it's a completion of a lesson. So we have a karmic lesson here. We do have a karmic lesson that is going to be learned. I think that you are going to have to be assertive and you're gonna have you're gonna probably get pissed. You're probably gonna say, No way, no, I'm mad. You're probably gonna get really upset. This five of wands reversed, this is um a controversy or a battle, fed up, pissed. I think you're gonna somebody's gonna get pissed off. 
um, you're gonna re you're playing games with me. You cost me all this money. So I think you got somebody here that may need your expertise, or they need your money, they need your funding, or who knows what. But they don't pay you. You know, they don't. It doesn't pay off. It does not pay off. Okay, but they are very. Whoever this person is is very cunning. Obviously, they're very cunning. Um, I feel as though you are going to be uh, oh, this is very upset this is very upset let's get some more cards here five of cups is upset um, Yeah, poor judgment. Be careful. Be careful. I feel it. Uh, be careful is big here. It really is. And this is a message you need to hear. And it may not be a pretty message. It really is not a pretty message. But it's a message you need to hear because somebody is coming to take advantage of you, Aquarius. That's the story. Okay? They, they feel like you don't know that they can pull the wool over your eyes. Whoever you're dealing with feels like they can pull the wool right over your eyes. They think that you are not aware and you're you may end up feeling ashamed you may feel like end up feeling like i am so stupid you're not stupid you're not stupid i mean i'm not saying that you i'm not saying that you are but you may feel because this is feeling ashamed feeling guilty and it's right next to you in reversed okay you you uh you know move on from that bad choice you're probably gonna feel like oh my god i can't believe that i fell for this shit so aquarius uh it feels like you're going to be dealing with somebody who is a player. you got a player here. You're dealing with a player. Somebody is going to be playing games with you. They're going to try to take advantage of you, and you're going to need to protect yourself from this person. This is a karmic lesson. It's a karmic lesson about taking risks. I know that everybody needs to take risks. I mean, that's a fact. It's a part of life. But you got to be careful about who you deal with. you got to be careful... You got to make sure that you can trust them fully. Uh, don't, don't, don't jump. Don't, don't move too fast. Uh, make them pay you first. Make them give you half at least. Okay. Or a third or a third every three months or something like that. You know what I mean? It's you, you make them pay you up front. I feel this definitely has to do with money. It has to do with a contract. It has to do with a business deal or a job or it could have to do with a relationship. Maybe somebody's been being used, you know. We definitely have a financial loss here, and it is a big one. It is. This is a big one. It is a big one. It is. Because somebody is pretending. They're pretending. And this is a karmic lesson that you need to learn. And it has to do with following your gut, because it looks like we have somebody here that isn't following their gut. It's like, you know. And I feel like you do. You know that there's something is off. You know that something isn't right, but it's the it's the money aspect that is pulling you in. So if you feel in your gut that somebody isn't going to pay you or they aren't going to own up to their end of the deal, trust that gut because it's the truth, okay? There's, there's, there's lies here. It's making a poor judgment call because you're not... Uh, some, and it looks like it's you, okay? Because this would be you making a poor judgment call. Um, you have a, some sort of lesson to learn. You do. Um, this lesson is going to bring you into, you know, it's going to cause some evolution within you. It is. It's going to change you in some way. It's going to give you some sort of wisdom, even though it's probably going to hurt. It's going to hurt. So my advice or my message in six months from now until six months from now, somebody is going to make, some, they're going to offer you some sort of contract, right? They're going to come to you and they're going to say, you know, I want to do this with you. I want to, I want to, I want you to do this for me, whatever. I want to work with you. They're not going to have the money to pay you or it's not going to end in anything permanent or anything solid or anything stable or something like that. And if this is a relationship, it could be a karmic relationship. If it is a love relationship, there's no love here in these cards. There is no love. So whatever this is, it doesn't have to do with love. It has to do with money. Okay. It does have to do with money. And I feel like, uh, 
you are probably going to be, when, when this is all said and done, if you take this risk with this person, you are going to be very pissed off that you gave this person a chance. You're going to be like, I wish I never gave you a chance. Somebody's going to get cut out. And this will probably end a cycle, okay? And this is a karmic cycle of being taken advantage of by somebody. Maybe you had a karmic contract with this person. and this is. The, but the world card is the end. It's the end. Making a cut. So you're going to be probably cutting somebody out of your life. Somebody that took advantage of you. They took advantage of you. Um, there's a big loss here. There's a big loss. And it, and it has to do with uh, somebody that has been shallow and superficial. Um, and I think they're probably going to... You know, there's feelings here. That you, you may be... You're probably going to feel very ashamed of... And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You're probably going to be like, Oh my God. Like, oh my God, I can't believe I let this happen. I am so stupid. And you're not stupid. You're not, we all do it. Every single one of us do, does it. We, we make poor choices. This is a poor judgment call. There's a poor choice. Making a poor choice based on, you know, wanting to have that money. And it has to do with money. I think this does. I'm wanting to have that stability or whatever it is. So right around the corner, you're going to have to make a choice. Within the next obviously two to six months you're gonna have to make a choice make sure that you choose wisely okay this is choose wisely as well be careful for false beginnings I'm telling you what somebody is gonna sell you something that looks really good they're gonna try to it's not real so Aquarius uh, really pay attention to your decisions and your choices Make sure that you are looking at all avenues. Make sure that you are being precise. Uh, make sure that you are making the right judgment call. We have somebody here that is not going to be with the judgment reversed. So make sure that you are wide awake. This is somebody that is not awakened. There is somebody that is going to want you to give them a chance. They are going to tell you. Uh, they may even tell you that they have changed. You know what I mean? If you've worked with them in the past, I've changed. No. No. They have not changed. We have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure. And they and it's like they don't care who they hurt. They may see your generosity. I don't know. There's something going on here and it is it's it's false, okay? It's not real. It's it's not going to lead you in the right direction, okay? So my advice is when you get this offer, my advice is to say, no, sorry, I don't think so. Good luck.